Hey guys, I hope you all are having a great day today. I just wanted to jump on here really quick and talk to you guys about spiritual warfare and what we see going on in the world today. So just a quick reminder that we fight not against flesh and blood. Um, so this isn't a conflict that um, we should be having with another person, another individual. If they have a different belief, such in the cases like LGBTQ, our war is with the evil um, and not with that actual person. So instead, we should be play, praying for that person um, and sharing the gospel with them. So um, just to start off here, the first thing I wanted to mention was um, how evil is being called good. Evil is being normalized and the good is being called evil. And I know I gave you guys the example of LGBTQ+. That's a really big one. Um, normalizing witchcraft is another one. Um, there's a lot that goes into that as well. And then, of course, abortion is a big one. Um, we see that uh, there's a lot of changes in the laws going on in um, various states here in the U.S. Um, but those are just a few examples of evil being called good and normalizing evil, um, normalizing sin, basically. And so there's a lot of other examples, but... Anyway, so the next thing is anti-Semitism, and I really wanted to hit on this um, as well just because of what is going on with Israel, the war with Israel and Hamas, and there have been so many protests here in the U.S. Um, and other places as well that are pro-Hamas and anti-Israel, and they're coming against the IDF, and there's actually a lot of news reports and media reports that make it seem like this is all Israel's fault that this is going on. But just a reminder, you guys, Israel is the apple of God's eye. And we know that Israel has a specific purpose during this time and in Bible prophecy, um, prophecy that is yet to be fulfilled. And so everything that happens with them is very significant. We should very much be pro-Israel um, because Israel is, like I said, the apple of God's eye. Israel is God's people. And on that note... I did want to mention replacement theology really quick. So replacement theology, if you guys are not aware, is where some people believe that the church actually replaces Israel in Bible prophecy. So this is a false doctrine. Um, Israel has their own purpose. The church has their own purpose. There is no such thing as um, this replacement theology. It's a complete lie. It's a deception. Um, God is not done with Israel. He will never be done with Israel, just as he will never be done with us, the church. Um, so this goes right along with anti-Semitism as well. And then moving on, um, a big thing that I wanted to talk about too is destroying the biblical family unit. And so this kind of goes hand in hand with um, evil being called good. So you have the LGBTQ, obviously if you have a woman and woman together, they cannot have a child. Same thing, man and man, they cannot have a child. Um, so that's destroying the biblical family unit. Um, it is taking what God meant for good and perverting it. Um, there are a lot of divorce, um, high divorce rates, open relationships, normalizing sex before marriage. So that's just making sin seem normal. And then all of this is Satan trying to pervert the picture of Jesus and the church. So um, Jesus is our bridegroom. The church is the bride. And so the biblical family unit is a picture of that. And so Satan is, he hates that and he wants to um, destroy um, and pervert that picture. So all of these things is, um, is the deception of Satan, right? Satan is the father of lies. He's trying to deceive people even Christians. And a big part of this is twisting the scripture, such as in the case with like replacement theology, but also um, there's a lot of uh, believers that believe that there's no rapture. Um, there are some who are saying that, oh, you are saved by your works and not by your faith, uh, that there's still things that you need to do to ensure that you maintain your salvation. And so we know that that is false. Um, that you are saved by uh, uh, faith in Jesus alone and his finished work on the cross. And so there's also, I noticed, a pull towards not even going to church or socializing with other believers. I've seen this a lot on social media. Um, there's a lot of uh, 
hate towards like church culture. I don't know if you guys have seen that. Um, and so it's a little bit disheartening as well. Um, so bottom line is, you guys, we just need to stay grounded in scripture. And um, you may say, you know what, I'm not very good at reading. Um, so I, I don't really read that much. And so maybe I just watch videos on YouTube or whatever the case is. You know what, like, um, you need to start with reading the Bible and understanding the scriptures even before you are starting to watch YouTube videos um, because anyone could tell you anything and if you don't understand what's in the Bible, then you might just take it for fact whenever it's deception. So I'm just encouraging you guys to get into the Bible for yourself um, and use discernment to understand what is right and what is wrong about what's being said in the media and what's going on in today's world. And um, so that way you have discernment to see, oh yeah, evil is being called good and good is being called evil. Um, So Uh, Just some encouragement for you guys, and I'll end with that. But I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Um, Remember, like I said in the beginning, that this is all spiritual warfare against the believer and against um, the truth, against uh, God. And so this is Satan coming um, coming against us. And so I just wanted to remind you guys. Um, that you need to be in prayer and praying for those who are deceived and then also that they will come to the knowledge of Jesus and what he did for them on the cross and share the gospel with them. So all right, without further ado, I'm going to end this video, but I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. God bless you, and it is a great day to be raptured.